hi guys in today's video we are going to talk about the contact flows right so since we have created the account in the previous videos now we will move towards a hands-on session right how to create a contact flow how to play a prompt how to use the legs and blah 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 right uh, so if I go to the document right uh, the manual they have given so over here they are talking about how to create a contact flow uh, how to get the phone number and all those things but for now we will just create the contact flow okay now this is the call flow which we are targeting to create as a part of whole tutorial session right now what i will do is i will go to my aws console okay over here i can search for connect so you can see over here we have amazon connect i will click over here if you want to know how to create all this thing I refer to the tutorial number 2 2.a and all those things right so we already created this uh, instance so we'll go over there click on login for emergency access okay now over here once it's loaded right you will see bunch of uh, call flows which are already been defined or given to you uh, we will go to this tree node can you see over here in the left hand side click on contact flows so you will see that bunch of call flows and sample one are already been created uh, if you want to study about them just click and go over here in the documentation right and select this default contact flows or sample contact flow so it will give you more details about each and everything that you can do with the contact flows available okay so our target is we will be creating something a new call flow right so let's give it like a main menu so this will be the entry point right so uh, let's name it like main menu so that we can have a reiteration journeys over here and since this is for the ivr uh, why i'm naming it as ivr because we will also create the similar for for chatbot with a uh, little bit tweaks and how little bit tweaks like uh, the uh, what do you say the list and the clickable actions will be a little bit different from the what we have in the ivr okay so this is how we create the call flow uh, just to uh, show you uh, to click and save right so you go to the disconnect which is like a hang up and select and connect this node click save and click Whoa, what happened okay and click publish okay so now this call flow you can publish right this is published and if you go back to your contact flow you will see something with the name of main menu IVR over here okay now uh, to start any of the contact flows right uh, we need to have the login cell available right so what I will do is I will set the login okay uh, so it's all enabled by default so that I will keep now what i want is something like do we want recording and analytic behavior so that i can drag and drop over here okay so i can go and select and this will enable the logging call recording yes what do you want to record like agent and the customer uh, conversation and all those things so you can configure accordingly okay i don't want do you want contact lens to be enabled like uh, uh, for the reporting purpose and to get the uh, real-time transcription and all those things, but I don't require that, so I will remove that one. Okay. Uh, do we want to set a voice since it is a voice call, right? Uh, we are defining for a voice, right? So we can select the voice which are available. You can select any of them. Uh, let's go with the Joy. I will use that one. Okay. And we have set the voice now. So this is the basic thing that you do. Uh, there are more. Uh, like prerequisite things that you can do with the lambda and all those things but that i will cover in the next session okay or not not in the next coming sessions okay now this is the basic stuff which we have to do that i have completed now let's say the first prompt that we will play is welcome prompt right so this is the welcome prompt let me copy and paste over there and over here you can go and select text to speech okay and you can select ssml also so once you select ssml then you have to give into the tags uh, which is required right so i can 
uh, as a select as a text it will be play out and ssml uh, if you want to pause if you want to play something digit in uh, like uh, play as a character wise right so that you can do so i will click on save so that is done okay now what will be the next is let's say for the play prompt you want to play the uh, any variable right so first let's create a variable uh, do are we capturing some variable over here uh, 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 okay we are not capturing any variable but anyway uh, that we will cover in the main menu section oh, sorry in the uh, what do you say set contact attributes uh, that we will cover in the uh, when we are covering the lex how to get the lex intent and slots and that thing okay so what i am doing right now is set contact attributes it, it means we are creating a variables right so let's say if we want to uh, play back something the number or something like that right so policy number something like that okay and let's say its value is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay now if you want to play this one right or if you want to let's create another variable let's say welcome and in, in the text let me put the same this uh, text which we have okay now how i can play this one right so let's point this one to next over here okay now instead of over here what i will do is i will write uh, dollar dot attributes okay dot what was the variable name i have given i think welcome i was given right just let me verify okay yeah welcome i have given okay so now what will happen it it will play out uh, the at uh, that variable whatever the value is there in that variable so that will play out so we have played that one and let's say we put a full stop and and the policy number is again so what was that uh, variable we created over there i think policy number right policy number this is just for the demo i will remove it after that okay so i can click on save and i can connect this one okay and publish now since i don't have a phone number associated i will just test it out through the uh, chatbot what i will do is test settings and i will select my main main flow apply and i will see if the message displays or not right so if it get displays so i can see that we are playing back from the variable this is the hard coded and this is the uh, number which we assign to that variable so if you go over here this is the welcome right which we assign to a variable over here right so the welcome was the variable we had the text over there and this is the policy number which has the text over there and then we write something like and the policy is xyz and the policy is xyz so this is how we can play back uh, one more thing is uh, if you want to use the ssml we will just show the tags how to do that just a second so what we will have is speak okay since we are speaking this will play out till this point and let's say you want to play that as a uh, as a character right one two three something like that just validating and this is a tag okay now this policy number will be like that and then we will close the say as and we will close the speak also 
let me expand this one okay so now what we did is instead of using directly the text we will select as ssml okay oopsie what just happened okay sorry i just clicked over there uh so speak is uh the one of the ssml tag is there so this will be like using the voice it will interpret this variable it will play out whole till this point and then we have added another uh, uh, SSML tag say as okay so say as interpret as digits so we are now saying that digits so this will be interpreted as a number like one so how in the I where you will hear is one two three something like that instead of uh, one million or one thousand something like that okay so we will save it and this is how we create the contact flow and this is how different ways are there to play a prompt right either it can be directly the text either it can be through a variable or either it use in, you can use the ssml interpret to uh, enhance the experience while speaking so it does not sound like a robotic okay uh, yeah so that's all for today's video i uh, hope you like it uh, as always like and subscribe if any queries or doubt uh, please put in the comment section in the youtube uh, have a nice day bye